So, ooh. I think this is the bit that we've rehearsed, is it? OK, right. So, if you could welcome to the stage my lovely, glamorous, beautiful assistants and colleagues, Tom, Dr. Tom Mace and Mr. Harry Axtell. <laughs> Now they are going to assemble the lovely robot. They are a very well-oiled team. And I don't mean it like that. Come on. Um, but yeah, these guys have been through the entire process with me. They actually helped me build this and design it. And they helped me test it in Imperial. So yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah, so you can see it's a slick operation we've got going on. Thank you very much. How smooth. It's like a Formula One team or something. <laughs> oh, marvellous. Yeah, there we are. There we are. OK. So in front of you, you have the world's first scientifically accurate plesiosaur robot. It's been designed with <coughs> rigorous paleontological theory and methods from scratch, from the word go. Not only is the body based on fossils, but the flippers are also based on real fossil evidence, combining with things we know about the soft tissue of these extant analogs. So I think for this I'm going to need a little bit of help. So have we got maybe a volunteer to help? Do you think you, you almost had your hand up? Would you like to, to help me? If you could give her a little round of applause. <laughs> yeah, right. What's your name? Abby. Abby. If you'd like to come here, Abby. Don't worry, it's not going to bite. <laughs> So, if you just, I'm going to move that to that one there. If you want to push this one forwards, then hopefully, if I've done my job correct anyway, should start moving. Like yeah, work. exactly. You ready? <laughs> go, go for it. Yeah, give her a round of applause. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, actually, th thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. <laughs> so there we are, yeah. Um, I'll slow it down to touch so we can just see the kinematics. So essentially, we can see it's actuated primarily dorsoventrally, so it's moving up and down. Uh, I've simplified the kinematics a little bit, so it's not surging forwards and backwards as well. So it's not really a closed loop, it's more like a line going up and down. Obviously, I have plans to in improve the accuracy of the, of the kinematics at one point. Yeah, also it has the, the sweep, so like a 30 degree angle going backwards. Um, and lastly, it actuates ventrally a lot more than dorsally. So it's not going up and down with a midline that's on the horizontal, it's actually mostly flapping ventrally, which is anatomically accurate. So here's a video of the actual facility in London, in Imperial College. So this is the hydrodynamics facility in the Department of Civil Engineering. And this is how it will be, basically. There's these holes in the top so you can hang the robot. And here is the robot actually swimming. Oh, it's kind of cute. This is the facility now. So you see the, the facility at the back is a wave basin. And that was for the commissioning test, but I've somehow managed to negotiate access to this flume tank for free um, because people seem to like plesiosaurs. <laughs> so really I've managed to do it on 
a shoestring. Like, obviously, I'm so appreciative of James for kickstarting the project. Um, and now it's got some momentum, and I've got a, a prototype that works. It's becoming a lot easier already to, to get more funding for it. Um, well, at least I haven't really got funding for it, but at least people are doing stuff for free, mostly, because <laughs> they just want to see it swimming. Um, <laughs> And here's the thing I'm going to build to hold it in the flume tank, hopefully. Um, but yeah, if we're, thanks to basically all of these people. Um, yeah, all of these people that have helped. Like here, we've got Richard and Tom and Harry and James. Um, but there's also a bunch of other people, my old supervisors, people that are working on the project now. All these things. There's a QR code for the website. So if you go on there, you can get updates. And um, there's a mailing list. And it also has links to all of the other things, like the, um, my LinkedIn and YouTube and the Insta face or whatever it's called. <laughs> so there's also a link to the GoFundMe. This is a slightly different QR code, which takes you straight to the GoFundMe website. And the idea is to take Flip on the road. With your help, we can get Flip out of the lab and on the road and use this as a platform for educating the next generation of scientists and engineers. Right? This is a great outreach. Um, like, it's a great um, outreach project as well as a you know, hydrodynamics investigation. Because not only does it combine elements of like maths and engineering and physics and making and building, but also <laughs> You know, we can use it as a um, focus for any discussion about evolution, the history of the Earth, you know, life sciences, all sorts of things, behavior, ecology, the environment, marine ecology, all this stuff. So that's the plan. Essentially, what I'd really like to do is be able to take Flip, starting maybe next summer, is just take um, Flip to all sorts of different museums in the UK. Um, and also to schools and other places, and just, you know, use him as an ambassador, really, for rational scientific <coughs> inquiry, and try and inspire people um, to, you know, to do this sort of thing. Because um, you obviously all get it. You obviously see why it's important. And there's a lot of pseudoscience in the world, and there's a lot of, you know, fake news and all this stuff. and we need as much clarity as possible, and we need to educate people. And from a young age, like getting kids really involved in the scientific process. So that's what I'd love to do. So if possible, anything, I'll, I'll appreciate any, um, you know, anything you can do to help, basically. Um, and yeah, there's a code for the GoFundMe. So yeah, there's Flip, the world's first scientifically accurate plesiosaur robot. <laughs>